Guys, I am going to show you my update video on how to create some more macros for Corsair Gaming. In my last video, I showed you how to create a uh, hold function for TeamSpeak or Ventrilo. And I'm going to show you uh, my update video, which I updated the way that I store my macros. And I can actually give you the link to my actual personal setup so you can import them as well. So let's get started. I believe I have every macro set up for my number keys. So I think I will use um, the hyphen key. So let's do that. I'm going to set up a macro for holding down the hyphen key. And what I do here is go to new in the actions tab and for whatever key you want to do this, you can do this with any key you want on your keyboard and in pretty much any combination you want but this is just simple steps and it'll show you how to program your own macros if you're new to the software. It's kind of a not very intuitive software but uh, once you kind of mess around with it for a little bit you uh, start to understand more. So um, what I do is put them in brackets. You can use whatever you want, uh, parentheses, whatever. But in the first bracket I put the key so in this case I'm going to put the hyphen key and this is going to be a hold macro so I'm going to type bracket hold and that's the name and for the notes I usually put either tap assign or hold assign so I'm going to put hold assign and what we're going to do next is hit the record button and press the key that you want to set the macro to. So in this case, we want the hyphen key and hit stop. Um, these two entries need to go. So we're gonna highlight both of them, shift click, and we'll hit delete. So you just want this macro and I'll, I'll show you why in a second. This, I showed you in the last video, but this, um, this is just a new update video. I'll show you guys again how I do things. Um, so we're going to hit OK, and it's going to uh, give us an unmatched events warning sign, which you should just go ahead and click OK. And I'll show you how to set the next part of that macro up. All right. So let's go ahead and find our new macro. Oh, I actually think I did this already. But OK. No, this is new. Okay, so I have the hold macro set up for holding. And in order to get it to hold, we have to create a double macro. So what we're going to do is, let's find out what we call them. Release, okay. So we'll do this. Bracket, your key that you want, hyphen. And then we'll do another one bracket release are you for release and what I do with this is I just leave it blank because whenever I sort by the macros that I want to find I usually sort by notes and then I'll show you that too so in this case we're going to hit record press the macro key that you want again hyphen and these two need to go so go ahead and shift click delete and we want a release key so we'll hit OK. It'll tell us unmatched events. That's fine. And we want to find the macro that we made before that. So here it is. Hold a sign. We'll edit it. And you see where this says double macros. Make sure to enable this. And we'll find our release command key. Um, it could take me a second to find it here. Here it is the uh, hyphen release. So this key can be used for whatever. Um, you can use it at MMOs or whatever you want, any video game that uses the hyphen key or whatever whatever key you're trying to set up. So I'm going to hit OK and now you have this hyphen key that you can hold and it will function to whatever you want, say like TeamSpeak. If you set your hot key for TeamSpeak to be the hyphen key, that's where you would use it. So um, what you can do is, I use the pause break for TeamSpeak, um, but you can go assign this new key. You can go ahead and pick the key that you want, uh, 
you could say three, and uh, assign the action, and there it is right there. Hold assign. This is the one you want to use because the note says hold assign. Um, for the tap assign, you do basically the same thing, only you don't have to set up another macro. It's for it. That's dependent on it. It could just be tapped. And I will show you how to do that as well. Um, how about we make a new tap assign? So, <clears throat> what we want to do is use the, how about the asterisk key on the numpad? That works. And if we want to make it tap, name it this. Notes. Call it. Oops. <laughs> Made a mistake up here. Need a T. A P. <laughs> okay. Tap. Assign. Record and hit the asterisk key. Hit stop. And what I usually do is just take out the uh, pause execution because that holds it for a specific time, however long you actually press it on the physical keyboard. But it would be instant as soon as you tapped it on the mouse. If you take that away. And um, hit OK. And it will be there. There it is. You can use that for, I use it for MMOs, like to tap. You don't need to hold it in. You just want to, you know, cast a spell or whatever. Tap it. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is give you the link in the description. I will upload my own uh, set right here that you see that so you can use for yourself. I've set up quite a few keys myself. These are all basic keys. There's not really many combination keys. I think there might be one in there. Yeah, control one. And I have that for, you know, personal. Uh, I think I've used it for World of Warcraft, actually. Um, so, yeah, you can do this. You can upload your own. You can share your own. I would definitely like to hear back from you guys uh, if you found this helpful. Make sure to give this a like and subscribe if you want me to give some more tips in the future. Um, so definitely check out the, uh, what's it called, the page below the description. That's it. Go ahead and check out the description for my link and you can import it. And then you'll have all these to set up and use. So... Thank you guys, and thanks for watching.